This is no longer an ordinary computer. This is now an MZ catcher, or known by its sexier name as a Stingray. We all know that we can be tracked by our apps or by our service cellular provider, but you could also be tracked by physically being in a location without clicking on links, without opening up messages. This is what an MZ catcher does. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what an MZ catcher is, how it works, and most importantly, how you can protect yourself. So what is an MZ catcher? Well, MZ stands for International Mobile Subscriber Identity. It's a unique ID that's tied to your SIM card, which can be either a physical SIM or an eSIM. Your phone uses that every time it connects to the cell phone network, basically saying, hey, it's me, here is my ID, please allow me onto the network. Now, your phone wants to give you the best service that it can, so it's designed to continuously look for a cell phone tower that has better signal. When it finds one, it automatically connects to it. An MZ catcher is a device that pretends to be a legitimate cell phone tower with an amazing signal. What it then does, it then tricks all the phones in the area to connect to it. Once your phone connects to it, it logs your MZ. Now, this doesn't reveal your cell phone number. Only the cellular networks have that information. But some advanced version of an MZ catcher can force your phone to be downgraded to an older 2G network that is far less secure than the 4G and the 5G network. And when it downgrades to 2G, it opens up the door to reading your text messages or listening to unencrypted calls. Now, law enforcement uses this to track down violent criminals or respond to civil unrest. We've seen those disgusting images of teenagers taking over cities and vandalizing property, breaking into shops, and even attacking innocent people who happen to be in their cars in that area. So an MZ catcher deployed there could capture all these kids MZs and tie them to that location and then get a legal warrant to get their identity. The downside is that an MZ catcher doesn't discriminate. So if you happen to be sitting in a coffee shop nearby when these TikTok fueled morons went on the rampage, your MZ number could be lumped in together with them. And that's a problem. That is not surveillance, that's kind of digital collateral damage. But, but okay, all that can be explained away. You dash there in a coffee shop. But it's not just governments we have to worry about. What used to be a six-figure spy tool is now something that anybody can build for under $50 with a laptop or a computer and some open software. Now, for legal reasons, I'm obviously not gonna show you this step by step, but you just need a couple of things. You need a software defined radio. That's a piece of hardware that's available on places like Amazon. It's perfectly legal to get that bit and a cheap versus expensive, depending on the capabilities and the frequencies, the ranges, that kind of thing. You then need a piece of software to drive this thing. Uh, here is one, and look at that. You've got a little graphical interface. You select the frequencies, and then the IMSI numbers simply pop up. So it's pretty straightforward. In fact, there's a step-by-step -step guide that you can go through, and literally, by the time you're done, you have an IMSI catcher. So now, hackers and scammers are using them. They are planting fake towers in public spaces to track people's routines, link them to the people that they're hanging out with and gather intel for social engineering and extortion and even worse. And since your real world identity can be leaked from a careless uh, employee at the cell phone provider, it's not that hard for somebody to combine your MZ with your name, your number, and now your physical location. We've already seen people get threatening phone calls where the attacker knows exactly where they are. We've also seen cases where some people have been stalked in real time and then forced to withdraw money from the nearest ATM under threat. This is spy level movie shit and it's happening right now. And no, a VPN isn't gonna help you. That only protects your internet traffic. Your MZ is still broadcasting for the moment that your phone is switched on. Now, you may think that this is too rare to worry about. Well, 
it's not. That's why there are tools developed by the Electronic Frontier Foundation, uh, like Ray Hunter, that exists. These systems are meant to detect fake cell phone towers based on weird signal behaviors, sudden drops to 2G, rapid tower switching, and signals from unknown cell IDs. I'll have a link to the Ray Hunter's website so you can check that out for yourself as well. And if that isn't enough of an indicator of just how bad of a problem this is, even Google's Android 16 apparently is going to have an IMSI catcher detector built in. Unfortunately, it's not a software update because it requires hardware and the way that it works with the phone's modem. What can you do right now? Well, the first thing you can do is go to your phone settings and disable the legacy 2G and even 3G if your phone allows you to do that. By the way, sometimes the carriers don't even allow you to do that. The next thing you should be doing is watching out for signs like dropping calls, overheating batteries when you're not using your phone, weird signal behaviors like you're connected, then not connected, and connected, and then not connected, things of that nature. And since we live in a time where surveillance is everywhere and everybody wants our data, if you're serious about your security, I recommend using Cape. Now, I've spoken about Cape before, but the more that I go down this privacy and surveillance rabbit hole, the more I'm glad I switched over to Cape. Now, Cape is a privacy first cellular provider that doesn't collect your data. When you register for Cape, you don't even have to give them your name, your ID, your mother's maiden name, or anything else that other carriers require you to hand over. So even if your phone lands up being part of an MZ catcher batch, the system is set up where there is virtually no information to hand over, even to law enforcement. Look, the surveillance issue is getting worse and kind of out of control, but I'm glad we've got some tools to cut off the trail before it starts. So I have a whole video about CAPE right over here for anybody who cares enough about your privacy and your security. So you can check that out here. Give the video a quick thumbs up now that you know what an IMSI catcher is. Be on the lookout for it. And I'll see you in this video. Let's go.